Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I am doing just a quick design set for you. I'm only doing four fingers. Um, the I am actually using my new practice hand. I really wanted to try it out so I thought why not film at the same time. Um, so this is my practice hand from Hand Dolly. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box of this. It is brilliant. It's so lifelike. It's so strange. Um, but I will be doing um, a little video on that itself. So for now, we're just going to concentrate on the nails. So obviously, I haven't had to do any prep work, but I did sculpt a clear base. Um, filed that a little bit, and now I'm going in with the colours. So the colour that I'm using on the pinky is the Glam and Glitz Orchid. Um, and it's a gorgeous pink, baby pink colour. It's so pretty. And I'm just applying that to the whole entire nail. And I will go in and cap this nail in clear as well. Um, just because they are quite um, a wet system. And I just don't trust it without capping it. So I will go in and cap it. The brush that I'm using is the Big Boy brush from CJP. Um, so I just go in and completely cover that nail in that colour. As I said, it is a wet system, um, so you do have to sort of build the colour up a little bit, but once you've got the hang of it, it's fine. Now, on this finger, I'm going to be doing a bit of a colour block, an ombre colour block. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going in here with the Bollywood Kiara Glitter from Glitter Arty Nails, and it's so pretty. It's such a beautiful glitter. And I'm applying that just down one side of the nail using a small wet bead of clear acrylic. And I just place that on the nail if there's any little areas that I can't get to. Um, just place that on. Then once I am happy with that, I do let it set just a little second. Um, literally just so that once I apply the cap it in clear, it's not going to move about. And I just use the belly of my brush to sort of flatten that down and then the side of my brush to try and get that as neat as possible. On the middle finger, I'm going to go in and do a marble nail. As you know, I do love a marble nail. So the first thing I do is I pick up a small wet bead of the pink and then I dip that into the um, Glitter Bell Snowdrops and this is just for my cuticle area so just to make sure it's nice and neat. Then I take a wet bead of each colour and I also went in there as well with Nail Nails Flawless um, just to add something different. Apply those to the nail, really, really wet beads, and then use the tip of my brush to blend those into one another and create the marble design. Then once I'm happy with that, I will let that set before going in and encapsulating in clear. Also, as I've said before, when you're doing a marble nail, you don't want to swipe the nail or brush across the nail. You want to use a tapping motion and pat that into place. And also try and work nice and thin because, again, you will be encapsulating this nail. I'm really sorry if I sound like Phil Mitchell, but I've got a really groggy throat today. I don't know what's going on with it, but it's very, very groggy and sore. Very raspy. <laughs> so then I'm just going in and I'm just going to encapsulate that glitter. Um, on this part, you want to make sure that all of the glitter is color, uh, covered. And also, if you aren't going to be encapsulating the whole nail in clear, you want to make sure that it is thick enough as well. So that when you come to file, you're not going to be filing too much. If you do file too much, you can always go in and encapsulate it. But I tend not to encapsulate them. So I'm just placing that glitter on there. And again, I'll use the side of my brush to keep that as neat as I can. I'm not too worried because I will be going in with a hand file and just refining the um, shape of it. 
Then I'm going in and encapsulating the pinky. So I'm using glass slippers from Glitter Bells. I'll leave links in the description box for all the products that I used and also discount codes. And then I'm going to go in and do exactly the same on the middle finger and just encapsulate this nail as well. So I'm just going to let you guys watch this. On the index finger, I'm going to be doing an ombre nail. So I'm going in with a bead of the orchid colour, placing that at the free edge of the nail and blending that down towards the cuticle area, not all the way, but just feathering it down just so that when we apply our nail bed to cover pink, we're not going to have a really harsh line. And then I just take another bead and place that right at the tip of the nail and pat that into place. So once I'm happy with that, I will let that set um, just because I don't want to add a cover pink colour whilst it's wet or else they'll just blend into one another. So once that has set up a little bit, I take a small bead of Flawless from Nail Nails and I apply that where the pink meets the natural nail and bring that all the way up over the pink and then go in with my cuticle bead pushing that all the way up towards the cuticle, getting it as close as possible without touching it, blending that up once again over the entire nail and then I will take a little bit more um, just to make sure you can't see any harsh lines and again using a tapping motion to bring that up and then I bring that up all the way over the top of the pink. Then I will let this set a little bit and then go in and encapsulate in clear if you don't encapsulate your ombre, um, when it comes to filing, you will just file away all the hard work that you've just done to create an ombre nail. So do always make sure you encapsulate and make sure that it is a little bit set before you go in and encapsulate, just to avoid ruining any of the work you've just done. Now I'm just going in and refining with a 100 grit nail file and this is just to make sure that when we put our other colours on we are going to have a nice crisp line. So once I'm happy with that I will get rid of the dust and then I'm going to be doing an ombre on um, the side of the nail where we are yet to put anything. So again for the ombre going in with the pink, applying that at the tip and then feathering that down. You always want to make sure that you do blend that down um, just so that you don't have any harsh lines when you apply your cover pink. And I will be encapsulating this part as well. Also, if you go over onto the glitter, it doesn't matter because once you start filing, you will file through a really nice crispy line. I'm really sorry if I'm a bit blah 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 <laughs> I feel like I'm just talking gobbledygook today and here again going in with flawless applying that to the nail and bringing that up over that entire nail and then I'll go in with a cuticle bead as well
Once I was happy with that nail, I went in and just encapsulated using glass slippers again, encapsulated the hook nail. Then once they had all fully set, I went in and filed them using a 100 grit nail file. On this nail, I did um, use a um, sanding bit as well on my electric drill. Then got rid of the dust, applying there some um, kiss nail glue just for a little crystal. And I'm using a Swarovski gold crystal here. Just going to place one on the middle finger. Then once that glue is fully dry, I'm going to go in and top coat. So the top coat I'm using is, of course, my Nail Lounge Collection's Ultimate Top Gloss. Gloss Top Coat. can't remember which way around it goes. Um, and I'm just going to top coat all of these nails. I find this one so satisfying. Nice crispy line. Love it. Top coat all of the nails. When you're top coating a nail that has crystals on, make sure you top coat around the crystals and don't go over them or else you'll lose that beautiful sparkle. So once I top coated those, we cured those in the lamp. We. <laughs> it's not a real person, but I'm still referring to her as we. Um, cured those in my LED lamp for one minute. If you're using UV, make sure you cure for two minutes. And then I did actually go in and put a little bit of cuticle all on her. You know, want to make sure she's getting the, the full package um, when she's getting her nails done. <laughs> so funny. It's so freaky, but that's, they're just brilliant. I do recommend getting one of these, especially if you're um, just training. Um, they're just so realistic. It's literally as if I'm doing it on a real person. Um, so yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.